next um, kind of like topic is going to be when we bring a post out back and how to figure out your report, what you're going to say, what you're going to do. So I've seen some people who really like to do a deep dive into somebody's chart before bringing them back. Um, not only is it unnecessary, it's also possibly a giant waste of your time. So I say that because we could spend two, three minutes combing through somebody's chart, going through everything, anticipating having to give this post-op report. Um, just for us to bring the patient into the room and for Dr. Maharaj to walk in and kind of take over the appointment anyways. So with Dr. Pham, Dr. Pham is very hands-on um, and likes to do everything on his own. So with Dr. Pham, um, I would just kind of, you know, bring him into the room, um, you know, walk in, hey, how's everything going? You know, how are you? Okay, great, Dr. Pham will be in here in just a moment. And then walk out where Dr. Maharaj um, well, and let me go back. So with Dr. Pham, when you say, hey, you know, um, Dr. Pham will be right in. I'm going to stand outside the door because when Dr. Pham comes in here, if he's on this side of the chair um, and then say he needs the light turned on because if you see him reach up to grab the light, turn the light on, stand outside the door, turn the light on for him because otherwise he has to go around the chair, turn the light on and come back around. So stand there to turn the light on for him. Watch to make sure, you know, if he reaches for the light, you got it. Um, if he needs a suction, go ahead and get everything together for him. I also like to have a suction already in um, to the saliva doctor spot with a plastic cover over it. So that way it's there and it's ready for him. So on a doctor fan day, knowing, me knowing that he wants to do everything on his own majority of the time, if I'm away from that door and like, or, He's moving too quickly for me. Maybe I've got other things going on. Um, I want to have that ready. So that will just be, oh, I'm, I'm lost in here. Um, but it'll just be a saliva ejector. You put it into the port and then like our uh, sensor covers, basically just take one of these, slide it over the top of it. And then it can stay there all day or indefinitely until um, somebody uses it. But then that way it's ready for him. So do things like that. You always want to have your tongue depressor out and a small post-op kit, have that ready. Uh, but otherwise he's pretty self-sufficient. Now with Dr. Maharaj, we'll go back to it kind of being a waste of your time. So I say that meaning that you could comb through everything. And we've seen where when you play the wisdom tooth consultation video, we play that and then we walk out and then it might play for a minute or two and then he comes in and says, hey, how's it going? You know, I'm Dr. Maharaj, do you mind if I cut this off? Everything I'm gonna say is in this video. And then he cuts it off for us. So think of yourself as that wisdom tooth consultation video in the fact that you're ready, you're prepared, you're ready to play off all this information and then he just comes in and steals the show. So that's kind of what you're gonna do. So instead, what I like to do is once I get a post-op chart, I don't even look in their chart yet. I'm going to go out into the room, get the patient and bring them into this room. I haven't seen a single thing in their chart because once I get in here, I say, hey, go ahead, have a seat. And I'm gonna pull up their chart. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna pull up our manager's chart, um, which we have permission to be in and we are not disclosing you know, any HIPAA protected information, she has given us permission. So um, I'm gonna pull up their chart. So I'm gonna say, hey, come on in, go ahead and have a seat. And as they sit down, I'm gonna pull up my chart here. And as I'm looking through everything, so we are alert, our alert chart pops up. I wanna look through that, make sure there's nothing in there that I need. Don't get in the habit of just closing it. You wanna read it. So say I've read it, I'm gonna close it out. And then I'm gonna go to their ledger. As I'm looking through their ledger to see what it was that we did, I have sat them down and I say, I'm looking through here and I go, so how's everything going? You know, everything is going good. Do you have any pain, um, any bleeding? Um, do you have any numbness? And I'm asking them these questions as I'm going through this chart. So
So I'm gathering information from them and I'm looking into their ledger. To me, their ledger is a quick, fast shot way of seeing everything that we've ever done for them and when we did it. It's all of our most basic, most important information other than what they're saying and what we see in their mouth. So let's say I have them, hey, go ahead, take a seat. I start looking, how's everything been going? Do you have any pain? And then as I'm doing that, here comes Dr. Maharaj. The greatest scenario ever is that we save ourselves the time. Dr. Maharaj comes in, he kind of takes over this appointment because he has the time, so it saves us time. He takes over, he looks at everything, he knows exactly what's going on, and he can kind of determine what needs done next. So we never even had to give report. He came in, he took over. Great, fantastic. The patient got back in a fit, fast, blah, 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 can't talk, fashionable manner and time. They got back at their appointment time. And then not only that, but then they didn't have to wait on Dr. Maharaj. He came in, we didn't have to give report. It's great to give report for practice, but it's also great to have extra time in your day and everybody to be working cohesively. So he comes in, he does everything. We never had to give report. If we stood outside into the room and we went through that chart for three minutes, knew everything that was going on, knew everything top to bottom, had the patient come in, hey, go ahead and have a seat. And then worst case scenario, you don't look in the mouth and just go to him and say, hey, I have this, I have this, I have this. Because looking in that patient's mouth is gonna be the most important thing. That's, you want to look in, see if they have, you know, infection, if the stitches are really dirty. Um, that's a key part of your assessment. So you never just want to completely rely on your chart and then just throw the patient in the room and be like, hey, Dr. Maharaj will be in and then go hit, give him report. You need to look into their mouth. So let's say we did all those things just for us to come in, be so prepared, ready to go give him report, and then he comes in and kind of rains on our whole parade and takes over, which like I said, it's a fine thing to do. It saves us time. But if you're putting so much work in on the front end, you're not really gonna get the benefit of him coming in and taking over your appointment. Um, so what I like to do, have him sit down, as I'm talking to them, seeing what's going on, I'm looking through their ledger and I'm just kind of getting an idea of what's going on. And then once I know, okay, we did extraction number 14, bone grafting, resorbable membrane. I'm gonna stand up, I'm gonna get some gloves, say, hey, can I take a look into your mouth? I'm going to look in their mouth. I'm gonna see if I see stitches present, if I see any redness, any swelling, any bleeding. Um, if I see a membrane, if they have a non-resorbable membrane, you're going to see a membrane in there too. And then let's say we see a lot of food built up on the stitches, or maybe they're really clean. So these are all the things that we're kind of gathering so that we can go give him that report. So the way I like to give report, and I'm just going to kind of pull this up to this computer here so that you can see what it is that I'm looking at. Let me get this lower down. adjusted here okay so when we're looking at this I'm like I said I'm gonna go to their ledger and then it'll open up the top and you'll scroll all the way down to the bottom to see what we did last so for hers like this is Katie's chart so it's not like a patient where it's gonna be super accurate and you know three weeks ago um, so I'm gonna pull up just her last surgery to kind of give an idea so I see extraction number 14 resorbable membrane bone grafting the date that we did it. So with this information, I now know extracted 14, they're gonna have a resorbable membrane. When I look in their mouth, I'm gonna make sure I don't see a non-resorbable membrane because if I do, I need to tell the front, hey, that's actually a non-resorbable membrane. And I know that we did bone grafting. So when we go and give report or you know, are looking for our report information, this is what we're looking at. Go to the ledger, everything's just gonna be right here. We're gonna see our date and that's gonna tell us how long ago it was. Then the only other thing that I would do, let's say it is three weeks ago, um, you'll go to over to notes here and then we're gonna pull up their um, post-op note. So these are Dr. Pham's notes. So his are gonna look a lot different than what Maharaj's do. Um, but when you pull up, you're gonna see, oh, you know, follow-up appointment, you're going to pull that up, and then you're going to scroll all the way to the bottom of that note, and it's going to say um, something along the lines of, like, at next visit, and it'll say um, remove sutures, remove membrane, 
take 3D x-ray. Um, that's all I'm looking at. So the only thing I'm looking at is to set this patient in the room, ask them how they're doing, go to their ledger, see what we did last, which was, you know, their surgery, their last surgery, and then go to their EMR and then go to their notes and look at what the next treatment was. So it says like at next visit, that's all I'm looking at. If we, if this is a one week follow-up, I'm not going to go through and look at their surgery note and see, you know, what was, sorry, I'm going to move this back. Um, I'm not going to go look and read through their whole surgery note. Um, for a post-op visit, I'm also not pulling up their x-ray that was pre-op or pre, yeah, pre-op. Um, because that doesn't matter. You know, if we extracted teeth, and that x-ray is prior to the surgery, the x-ray is not relevant anymore. It has nothing to do with what's going on here. So we're not pulling up our x-ray. I'm not going back and reading their surgery note because what we did at surgery truthfully doesn't matter. Um, what matters today is what's going on today. It matters if they have sutures in their mouth, which I could go to the surgery note and see, oh, we placed sutures, but I could also look in their mouth and see, oh, they have sutures. What if those sutures fell out or maybe they cut them out because they were hanging down and they just started snipping and they took them all out. Um, so I'm gonna get all the information I need by looking at their ledger and looking in their mouth. I don't need to go through every single document in their chart. So with that, um, you know, that if they've already had a follow-up appointment, let's say this is at three weeks, then I will look back at their last post-op note just to see if they're at their last post-op, Dr. Markmar said, hey, we're gonna take a 3D x-ray when they come back in here, or maybe he's gonna put in there, you know, at their next appointment, remove their sutures. So when they come in here, I know, those sutures need to come out. Um, if you are in the point of your training enough where he allows you to do that without going to him first, then I already know that's what you need today. I'm just gonna take the stitches out. This is what you ordered. This is what you asked for. So that's all I need. Come in, sit them down, ask them how they're doing, look at their ledger, go to the last uh, post-op note and go down to the bottom, see if it says that we need to do anything at that point. If that note says, take a 3D, I'm just gonna go ahead and take a 3D. I'm not gonna go back to him and say, you know, here's the report, here's all this. Um, it said in the note that you wanted to take an x-ray. Do you want me to take an x-ray? He's already established he wants that x-ray at the last appointment. It's already been ordered technically. So go ahead and do it. Um, the way I'm going to give report is who, what, and like chief complaint. Um, so who is going to be Katie Grimm. Um, what is going to be their surgery. So extraction number 16, we did bone grafting, non-resorbable membrane. And then I'm going to give any information. They have sutures present. Um, they need to be removed. Uh, if you're not comfortable, go ahead and remove them. Then, you know, hey, they need to be removed. Do you want me to remove them? Or you could say, hey, you know, they had sutures. I removed them. Um, and then the other thing is when. So you don't want to go to him and say, on October 20th, we did this, this, and this. Because today's November 5th. Could I tell you how many weeks ago October 20th was? Absolutely not. Not off the, I couldn't, not by looking, without looking at a calendar. And you have to think you're going up to him, he's probably standing in the middle of the office somewhere. He doesn't have a calendar. And the way we operate for post-ops is we operate on a weekly basis or a monthly basis. We know what happens at one week and we know what happens at two weeks. We know what happens at three weeks. We know what happens at four months. Um, so going to him and giving him a date doesn't help him any. So my report is going to look like this. Hey, Dr. Maharaj, I have Katie Grimm. Uh, we saw her three weeks ago for the extraction number 14. We did bone grafting with a non-resorbable membrane. I looked in her mouth. The stitches are clean. She still has stitches in there. And um, she said she doesn't have any pain, no numbness. Uh, do you want me to take those stitches out? Then he'll say yes or no. Or, hey, I have Katie Grimm. Three weeks ago, we did extraction number 14 bone grafting with a non-resorbable membrane. I took the stitches out and it said that you wanted a 3D, so I took that 3D and it's up in the room. She has no numbness, no pain, and she's ready for you. So 
give a full detailed report and you're like I said you're gonna get all that information just by sitting them into the room talking to them looking in their mouth and looking at their ledger and then their last follow-up visit to see if there's anything that you need to do today that's already been established um, and that's it so it's a pretty quick process